Predicting if a pacemaker operation will be successful before it's performed. A digital twin of the human heart makes this possible. Professor Gernot Plank explains how the computer model can support diagnostics. One is a risk assessment and CRP stratification. For instance, if you're at risk of suffering from sudden cardiac death, you need an implantable cardioverter defibrillator implanted. And, uh, so to make a decision whether this is really needed, digital twin models have shown already to have a predictive potential in this regard. The other application is pre-procedural optimization of CRPs. Modern CRPs tend to be very complex with a lot of options to play out all possible options while a patient is undergoing an intervention is just impossible course, the duration of intervention correlates very closely with the risk of the intervention. He sees another possible clinical application in ablation therapy. The technology also brings great benefit to industry in the area of research and development of medical devices. Digital wind models uh, is a new technology that uh, offers a lot of advantages with regard of testing a large number of device designs. Of course, uh, so far you have, if you want to test a new device design, you have to build it and test it preclinically in animal experiments. In our digital twin, you can test a large number of designs in a very cost-effective way in a very short time. And we also anticipate that the technologies in the long run will help to augment clinical trials. That means you can reduce the number of patients you enroll in a clinical trial, and it may offer the opportunity to uh, stop a clinical trial early on because in the digital print technology, you already gathered enough evidence that, a lot, that it provides enough evidence to stop a clinical trial because you have shown that the CRP is effective and safe. To simulate an individual patient's heart model, many technical components must be intertwined and millions of pieces of data collected and processed. First of all, the most important bit is probably the simulation technology. Uh, cardiac physics is very complicated. The heart is an electrically controlled mechanical pump and, uh, and the complex physics is governed by complex equations and these have to be solved very efficiently. So today we are able to solve most of the physics in real time. So this is the core of our, of our model. We also need good tomographic scans of patient hearts because we need to build an anatomical model. So we need software that carves out the heart from the tomographic images, which is called uh, segmentation. And then we need technologies for generating computer models from that, that's meshing technology. We need cli additional clinical measurements representing the function of the heart, like, like, like the electrocardiogram, which can be recorded non-invasively from the surface, or electrograms from implanted devices. And if you want to do cardiac mechanics, for instance, you also need invasive information on blood pressure. The data we need for building a digital twin are essentially acquired during clinical routine. So we don't need any additional data, maybe some adjustments of certain protocols to get better quality. But overall, we don't need more data than what is required anyways. Machine learning comes into play at two points in the simulation. It's very important for parameterizing the model because you have a complex physical model of a real physical entity and you want to match the two things up so all the parameters in the model you have to identify from your observations and this is a complicated inverse problem where machine learning is playing an important role and also the process of segmentation that is deciding in an image what is hard and what is surrounding uh, AI is playing a very important role in this processing step. The digital twin heart is not yet in practical use. This requires further basic research, especially from a software engineering perspective. For this purpose, the team founded a spin-off company. However, the next goals of the research are already within reach. After 20 years doing academic research on, on cardiac modeling and applications, modeling of CRPs, and uh, we are technologically at an interesting in, in an interesting phase because we are close to, to achieving translation. Um, 
Our main goals in this regard is over the next three years, we would like to get regulatory approval of using our digital twin technologies in R&D applications and industry. So we want to get the regulatory approval and within the next five years, ideally earlier, we would like to have first products in a clinical application where we use digital twinning technology for uh, optimization of therapies. Focusing on three major therapies, uh, ventricular tachycardia ablation therapy, atrial fibrillation, ablation therapy, and complex uh, cardiac resynchronization therapy cases. So these are the three lines we wanna we wanna tackle.